everyone, this is a knife I picked up recently. I stumbled across it on eBay. I was just looking at some Chris Reeves folders, and this knife popped up, and uh, I was a bit curious about it because I've never seen it before. And um, so I clicked on it, and it looked pretty neat. And I did some research on it, and come to find out, it's uh, by a company called TSSI. It's known as a Tac Ops Falcon knife. Uh, it was produced in Italy by Fantoni. Um, I found that out after some research. It has the Fantoni logo on it. Uh, also, Fantoni seems to have produced their own version of this knife, and they only made 144 pieces of that, and that was known as uh, Fantoni Raginal. Um, if you look it up on YouTube, you can find a few reviews on it and uh, the story of that knife. But this knife and that knife are extremely similar. This one has different scales, though. Um, this is a Chris Reeve and Bill Harzi uh, design. It's a collaboration between the two, so it's pretty unique. Uh, I have no idea how many of these were made, but um, according to the info card that comes with the knife, that collaboration was done in 2006. Uh, this knife is on clearance on Tac Ops' website. It is also on eBay through them. Uh, I believe it's Skunk Works USA is on their eBay name. There's less than 30 of these left. Uh, it comes in a top, uh, Tonto version and a uh, clip point. Um, both are serrated and black. Uh, came in this nice case. Nice hard plastic case. I thought that was pretty nice. Um, the Falcon name comes from their uh, first sales associate, Steve Falcon. He passed away, and they did the knife as a commemorative piece for him. So like I said, it was produced by Fantoni in Italy, and it's a really awesome knife. I got it for 80 bucks, down from 140 so they're on sale, like I said. Um, knife has aluminum scales, both sides. Uh, really nicely done. Uh, the little holes drilled out for grip and weight reduction. Uh, it comes with two clips since the pocket clip is um, only able to be used on one side. So right now it's set up in right hand carry. You can also set up for left hand carry with the other pocket clip. Um, it comes with both clips attached. Uh, also it is only tip down carry. So for those of you that like tip up, sorry. Um, the blade pivot you need two hex wrenches to remove, and you need to remove both clips to remove it. When I got this knife, it was um, pretty stiff. Uh, not stiff, it was felt sticky. Um, so I took the pivot out and found out that the grease and oil in there uh, pretty much gunked up. It looked like it was in there for a while. So uh, from what I can understand, Tac Ops didn't do a really good job of uh, you know advertising this knife as it was only sold on their website. So it was only available to those that actually knew about the website and went there. Um, they're still in business and they sell um, military stuff like packs and gear and such. Still a really great knife. Um, so I changed the oil in there, cleaned it out, and it opens really smoothly now. As you notice, there are no um, standoffs or screws anywhere on the scale. All you have is the lane rule. It's a seems to be a piece of steel tubing that was pressed in there and flared. So you can't take the scales off, but you can take the blade out, and uh, I'll talk more about that in a second. Um, when I took the blade out, I was trying to play around with it, see if I could separate them, but they are solid. It's almost like they're glued together or something along with that pin, but it's extremely solid, so no worries about that. And you have a glass breaker on the tip there. Um, back up to the blade. As you can see, you can see the bronze washers in there are really fat. Uh, the design of this knife really is quite similar to a lot of Bill Harsey's designs, which I was kind of wondering what Chris Reeves did. Um, seems like he really reviewed over the fin finish of the knife because it is just incredible. You can see perfect blade centering there. Absolutely perfect. And um, when I took the uh, blade out, I noticed that um, the pivot is the same design as uh, used on Chris Reeves' bends. It's got a bushing in there, and the bushing sits flush with the bronze washers, so it's extremely smooth and extremely solid. Um, the lock bar is steel. It's in there. It's not really... It's a liner lock, but in a way it's kind of not. It's interesting. These two screws hold the liner lock in, and uh, as you can see, the it's not actually a liner. It's just the lock that's screwed in. So the knife is very smooth. Um, it was kind of weird. You don't. You really just push straight back, and it'll open. Uh, see a nice strong lock up there. Full lock up. Where is it? Really? There we go. Um, absolutely no blade play whatsoever. It, it feels like it's a fixed blade knife. Easily the most solid knife in my collection, even though it is a small collection. Um, blade, like I said, comes in a clip point or a tanto. I went for the tanto. 
I think it's pretty nice looking Tonto. Um, came extremely, extremely sharp. Shave razor like right off. He'll shave hair. I couldn't believe it. It was absolutely incredible. Um, you could pretty much see your face in it. It's polished. Yeah, where is it? There you go. Yeah. Nice mirror edge there, right from the factory. Uh, on this side, um, I don't know if you can see it. Yep. 13C26 Sandvik Steel, and you can see the Fantoni logo right there. Uh, on the opposite side, you see your serrations, and then the Attack Ops and Falcon logo. Uh, the blade, uh, the thumb studs to act as a blade stop. There's no stop pin inside. Uh, not much of a thumb ramp, but the straight, um, the jimping is absolutely awesome. It really locks your thumb in, and your finger really locks into that choil. It's a really, really comfortable knife in the hand, uh, despite its really squared off shape. It's extremely comfortable. It's nice and thick. Um, and the clip on this knife, although it's only one position below on each side, it is extremely awesome. It's really nice and stiff with just enough give, and it really doesn't interfere with your grip on the knife at all. Overall, this is just a stunning knife for the price, 80 bucks. I'm really happy I got it. Um, it's just really cool <laughs> to have something that uh, is really rare. Um, as you can see there, it's just like nothing. And here's is nice and all too. Um, like I said, it's a pretty rare knife. Um, I only found it through that one seller on eBay and one website. And there's not much info on it at all. So if you're like uh, looking for this knife or you're interested in it, just check out um, Tech Ops's website and uh, definitely do some research on the Fantoni Raginal because it is the same knife and uh, they get a lot of info out of that too. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.